gosh, what an absolutely oh, massive play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the save line, he will one hit KO! Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the end of the week here on Fight for First, uh, plus or minus Navi Friday, of course. We started with Wigglytuff. Uh, okay, never mind. We, we waited till Wednesday for Wigglytuff. We brought Wigglytuff. It sucked. Redemption. This is going to be our redemption battle for the week, guys. Um, if you want to take a look right now, if you want to guess which of those battles Wigglytuff participated in, feel free to guess. You're right. You're absolutely right. But we're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring the ninja. Um, it's the start of the new season. Uh, the, the season by next week, I'll, I'll play some battles offline. I'll probably test some stuff, get us up a little bit higher. Um, but I thought we should enjoy what this shit is while we have a chance. Wow, look at this. This looks neat. Can I KO the thing? I mean, there's a duck. There's like intimidate. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm honestly terrified. I am honestly terrified right now. I don't know what any of this shit is. If he gives me the intimidate boost, I'm gonna be a threat. Do I sack Kangaskhan? Do I do Thunderous? Cause then he sends in the stupid Sea King. I can't stop the Sea King. I can't stop Sea King. Okay. Well, I could go. Like, what am I leaving out here? If if, if Sea King goes down, is Rotom even that good? Is the question. If Sea King goes down, Thunderous is pretty good. So let's plan on getting rid of Sea King with our Wigglytuff as he leads Gyarados into it because nobody knows that Wigglytuff has competitive. And once we have the competitive, we don't Thunderbolt because we're afraid of Sea King, but we will Dazzling Gleam or Fire Blast in the rain against an all water team. Holy crap. Show me Gyarados. He might not see it coming. Oh wait, we have Dazzling Gleam. That's like dark type, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, big damage. Um, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna do big damage. So I'm going to, I don't know, you think he protects or you think he just does damage right off the bat? I could King Shield, um, but I don't want to just let him set up for free. I think he goes for a Dark type. I think he goes, hey, it's Aegis Slash. Let me Dark type into it. Okay, so we're going to trade Protects here. Nice. I can see that. We're not revealing Thunderbolt. Mind Games. Wigglytuff Mind Games. Holy shit, we just got Simple Beamed. He knows what this thing does. My man got rid of... Oh god, now we're just a simple Wigglytuff. We're just a simple, simple Wigglytuff. Oh dear. Um, so he's gonna get the spoos. The sp boost. That's okay. I think we Dazzling Gleam again. And we just try to take this like a biatch. Um... Do we get rid of this stupid Sharpedo? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Although it resists like everything I could throw at it. But I think together with a simple beam, I think we can do it. Shadow Ball just in case switches another water type. Yeah. There's the crunch. We were expecting this, but we got big Ds. Yeah, nice. Too bad we're not, uh... oh Jesus. Oh my God, this. This Golduck is going next meta. Oh my god. Here's a Dazzling Gleam. Oh my god. Which means, though, he won't... Ah! Oh, that actually would have KO'd? That's hype as shit. Uh, Golduck's gonna heal with the Citrus. Okay, what are we playing against? Um, there's no way this Sharpedo attacks. He knows we're gonna King Shield again next turn. Please don't power up the Sea King. Please don't power up the Sea King. We're gonna switch um, to Kangaskhan. I'm pretty sure he can't attack. I'm pretty sure he doesn't attack this turn. It's gonna be King Shield, right? That makes sense. Why would he crunch into a forced King Shield? He's already making the plays. Here this comes, because it'll lock me down with a good old Sucker Punch in the future, as long as I don't take huge damage here. There's the Protect from the Dazzling Gleam, which is not which is why we did not do it. We got disabled on the Dazzling Gleam, which is why we didn't do it. Planned. 
Simple Beam, Encore, whatever. But there's the Thunderbolt, guys. And that's doing big damage. That's doing big damage. Okay. So now we can't Thunderbolt again. Um, but we do have Icy Wind. And I really like that. I really like that play. I like it. Does he let me Sucker Punch him? This is the question. He might Aqua Jet. I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect... I don't think he Aqua Jets the, the Wigglytuff. I think he thinks it's not a threat. He might switch in. The Sea King. Okay, he was afraid of the Sucker Punch anyway. So good protect anyway. The only way Sucker Punch works there is if he doesn't Aqua Jet and he just straight up attacks. Um, oh, good thing we're just a freaking simple Wigglytuff again. Not afraid of a Thunderbolt in that slot. Not afraid of a Thunderbolt in that slot. So, gotta give the man some props. We probably will get rid of this Gold Duck. We probably used Simple Beam or something. Who knows? Yep, that's pretty neat. Here's a big ol' Icy Wind. Wiggly Tough! Wiggly Tough! Holy crap! I like me, Wiggly Tough. All right. Uh, if we get to see the last one and it's not Sea King, you better believe this Gyarados is getting Thunderbolted by the simple Wiggly Tough. It's really just a simple Wiggly Tough, guys. Nothing impressive. There's the Sea King. Okay, what a dick upon him this. Okay. This is disabled. Can't use this. Fire Blast it is. Nope. Okay, well, Icy Wind. Um, I really got to get rid of the Sea King. I feel like he's just going to hit into me right now. Like, Protect Sea King hit into me. Um, as long as I keep Icy Winding. Yeah, I'm going to go to Age Slash here. I want to reset my Intimidate. I can't bring out the Thunderous, really, because it's pretty much dead weight right now. Um, in that regard, maybe Greninja was better. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? The world will never know. He's going to withdraw the Gyarados. Is he not a Lightning Rod? Into that. Okay, smart. He's going to... He has his own Icy Wind. If I wasn't simple right now, this Wigglytuff would be like plus goddamn four right now. Holy crap. Here's a big ol' Icy Wind. Thank God that connects. Wigglytuff, your accuracy is off the charts. Boom. Great. Ooh, the critical hit on the Sea King. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That's gonna go down. I like the fish team. I do. I like it. Does it have anything on my Wigglytuff? I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't really KO it without maybe Fire Blasting it. But my thought process is here. I'm afraid of the Gyarados if it Dragon Dances. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I keep uh, Icy Winding until I know what kind of a Gyarados it is. And in that regard, I'm just going to... I, I could just King Shield here. Unless I'm giving up valuable attack time while he's kind of weak. Does he Earthquake? Is he Mega? Does he Crunch? We haven't seen a Mega. It's probably Mega. It's a Mega Dragon Dance. If I can keep it slow, if I can get back our Dazzling Gleam, we'll be fine. Does he Earthquake this turn? If he does, he's not Dragon Dancing, which is okay with me. So let's let Aegislash go down in that case. Good thing we attacked. This is this is definitely, we need we need this damage. And without this Icy Wind, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, unless we get rid of that Sea King somehow. I doubt we can. So we're going to take that. Shit. Well, that means that puts us on a timer. That means we're attacking next turn. Uh, here comes the Shadow Ball. I like it. I like it. Boom. Glorious critical hit. Look at that. Here's an Icy Wind to keep this Gyarados down. No, Gyarados. No. 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 Perfect. So, speed. Good. Um, when is my Dazzling Gleam coming back? Because I kind of want a Dazzling Gleam and shit. Then again, I don't want to... It's a speed thing. Okay, so Dazzling Gleam's back. I can't allow him to do the thing. So I'm going to Icy Wind again. If we weren't burned, we could just protect and then it would be swag. Because then he'd be slower than us or something eventually. Who knows uh, what I'm talking about. Um, Passerby Bozo wants to trade with me. <laughs> Please tell me more. Um, do we just attack this thing? I mean, we could. I know Zapdos is going to have a field day with it. I just don't know if the Sea King protects or not. It's. I think it's Assault Vest. I'm going to go hit the Sea King. Pretty sure Sea King is a salt vest. 
There's the Mega. Too bad I didn't Dazzle and Gleam. He might Earthquake here. If he KOs himself, though, we have the Thunderous to slow him down. And then we have the Kangaskhan to end this game. So, it's a good thing we didn't Shadow Ball into the Gyarados. If we're lucky, he protects. Not that lucky. But here's the thing. If he doesn't hit Wigglytuff, nice. So he hits Wigglytuff. Who champs it? And thanks to those Icy Winds, we outspeed and KO this thing. Woo! Now. Now, guys. What I would not give right now to let Wigglytuff end this game with a dazzling gleam. I'm going to try. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to do some next level shit. Going to dazzling gleam and I'm going to thunder wave and get the full para. Now I know what you guys are thinking. No! No! The one game I bring Wigglytuff to! No! No! <laughs> well, actually, that, guy, that was actually kind of entertaining. What a cool team. All water, all fish or something. Theme team, man. I think everyone should be forced to run a theme team in Pokemon. I think that's how the game should go. Well, guys, I'm going to go get some Cheerios because I'm starving. I think we had an interesting week here. I'm glad we got to see what we got to see. Wigglytuff doing what it does best. You usually suck, but that one time coming in clutch, even though it was simpled. Or something. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Stompy Friday for some kind of shenanigan. I don't, I don't know what. Maybe it's just me. I gotta go talk to him. He's doing stuff right now. He's doing big stuff. He's doing very important things. So, we'll see what he's up to. Otherwise, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the week. Next week, I will have climbed up. We'll at least be in the 1600s, okay? I'll just play some games, test some stuff, definitely get some big dubs, and uh, put us up into the 1600s. Make sure we got a little bit less fish. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys next time, 3 p.m. PST on another episode. Bye for first.